Hello everyone, hope you all guys are healthy and safe at your home. Dear students, today we are going to discuss unit 5 of physical education class 12th. In this unit, we are discussing common postural deformities. We already discussed some of these fine deformities in last video. Today we are going to discuss some more deformities of uh, human. So before discussing these all, let me tell you what is deformities once again. So let's start. This refers to the deformities in the skeleton structure or where the body parts are not aligned. That results in some kind of postural deformities. Okay, people having postural deformities cannot perform uh, their work efficiently. So we can say this is the deformities of the skeleton system of bones. Okay. These are not developed properly or, or we can say these are not developed properly because, because of some diseases or illness or due to some other reason. So which are these deformities? Let's know now. Okay, so the first is knockney. Knockney is a common deformity. Let's know about it. Knockney is a postural deformity in which both the knees touch or overlap each other in the normal standing position okay due to this deformity an individual usually face difficulty during walking and running okay so this is the deformity of knees or we can say of legs uh, you can understand better it with the help of this picture let's know a little more about this deformity okay now let's know what are the causes of knock knee so the first is weakness of muscles and ligaments someone has weak muscles and ligaments so in this case there is a chance of knock knee this called deformity next is overweight overweight or we can say obesity okay next is lack of balanced diet yes if someone is not getting proper balanced diet proper nutrition so there is also the chance of this deformity the next is lack of vitamin d calcium and Phosphorus. Yes, these all supplements are very necessary to develop our bones and joints. Okay, so if there is a lack of these supplements in our diet, so there is a chance again and say of knock knee deformity. So now, what are the precautions for that? Let's know. Precautions like first one is balanced diet should be taken. This is very important for all over development. Okay, and this is the part of development only. If the body will develop properly, you will get proper balance. So this type of deformity uh, from anyone can save from this type of deformity. deformity. The next is do not force the babies to walk at early stage. Okay, this is also one of the precaution we can say. Uh, if you are forcing the babies to walk in early age, so what happens? Their body weight. Uh, used to go in their legs and the bones are very soft not properly developed so in this case also there is a chance if you are forcing the babies of knock knee deformity so we do not uh, so do not force the babies to walk in early age so this is the precaution okay now let's move to next now let's know what are the corrective measures for knock knee okay if someone is facing this problem how can he or she can correct this deformity so the first is horse riding is one of the best exercise for this deformity okay and next is keep a pillow between your knees whenever it's possible you can keep the pillow between your knees at night while sleeping okay and whenever you get time you can do this also okay so this is this also helps to in this for deformity next is take nutritious meal okay meal with the full of nutrition will definitely helps in all the deformity not only in this next is yoga in yoga especially the first is padmasana and second is gomukhasana these two asanas are very helpful in this deformity there are other asanas also these also helps to correct this deformity but these two are especially helps in this deformity so this is all about knock knee now let's know about the other deformities second deformity is flat foot okay what is flat foot let's know it is a deformity of the feet okay so it is a deformity of a feet in this deformity 
there is no arc in the foot and the foot is completely flat you can understand this with the help of this picture let's know little more the individual face problems in standing walking jumping and running okay whosoever is having this problem of flat foot his or she is having problem they face this problem in the standing okay walking jumping and running so this is flat foot and now let's know what are the precautions for it okay what are the uh, safety measures for it let's know a little more about it okay, now let's know about the causes of flat foot so the first is heaviness of body weight means obesity okay if someone is having heavy weight in this case there is a chance of flat foot the next is standing for a long time if someone is walking for a long time while standing in this case also we can say there is a chance of this deformity next is carrying heavy weight for a long time okay the next is use of poor quality footwear not having an arm this is the main reason we can say or we can say this is an important one of the important reason or important cause of flat foot if someone is not wearing proper uh, shoes footwear which not having arm so in this case there is a chance of flat foot these are the causes now let's know about the precautions of flat foot and safety how can we save ourselves from this disease this deformity now let's know about the precautions and corrective measures of flat foot so first let's know about the precautions first is wear the shoe of proper shape and size whatever the footwear you are wearing it should be of proper shape and size next is high heel shoe or walking barefoot for long time should be avoided okay first don't wear the high heel shoe for long duration and second is don't walk barefoot for the long duration these are the precautions now let's move to next which are corrective measures now what are the corrective measures for it first is walk on heel and toe if someone is having problem of barefoot he can correct with the help of these measures first is like i told walk on heels and toe next is stand up and down on the heels number third is skip on row these all will help to correct this deformity the next is yoga especially there are so many asanas in yoga but this especially vajrasana helps to correct this deformity so this is all about flat foot now let's move to next deformity okay now let's know about the next deformity which is bow leg okay what is bow leg it is a deformity just opposite of the knock knee position okay knock knee i already told you about the knock knee it is, it is just opposite of that position in fact if there is a white hair between the knees the deformity can be observed easily when an individual walks or runs okay if there is a white gap between the knees we can observe it easily while running or walking so it is having this deformity so this is about the bow leg now let's know little more about causes of bow leg and precautions what are the causes of bow leg and what are the precautions for it so the first is putting extra weight on leg muscles okay this is one of the cause of bow leg next is lack of balanced diet if someone is not getting balanced diet proper uh, fast fast forus calcium and all which is very uh, necessary for the bones okay so in this condition also the, uh, the, uh, anyone can suffer with this deformity next is improper way of walking there, if there someone is not walking in a proper way there are also the chances of this deformity next is forcing babies to walk in early age okay so these are the causes now let's uh, know about the precautions what are the precautions the first is balanced diet should be taken everyone should take balanced diet so that uh, his or her development should go properly next is do not force the babies to walk in early years because if we force the babies in early years there will be a chance of this deformity and other deformities also so these are the causes and precautions of bow leg now let's know what are the corrective measures of bow leg corrective measures for bow leg first is never stand for a long time 
okay never stand for a long time in a single position okay second is use vitamin d and balanced diet this is very important which i already told you in other deformities also vitamin d is very important for our bones okay as well as for our health and balanced diet is also in the very important for the body next is walk by bending the toe inward or on the inner edge of the feet feet okay with the help of this exercise we can uh, correct our this bow leg deformity next is proper massage should be given to the child if this problem is observed in early age yes if we are uh, we can observe in the early age in some of the child this type of problem so there should be proper massage should be given to that child okay with the help of proper massage this uh, deformity can be correct so this is all about bow leg now let's move what the next deformity round shoulder one of the deformity of human being which is mostly found in the girls now what is it let's know about it it is a postural deformity in which the shoulders become round as they are drawn forward okay the head and the head is extended and the chin points forward you can understand the round shoulder deformity with the help of this picture okay which is in your screen so this is a round shoulder okay in which what happens uh, shoulders becomes round as they are drawn forward and the head is extend and the chin points forward now let's know little more about it okay now let's know about the round shoulder causes and precautions what are the causes and what are the precautions so first let's know about the causes the first is maybe due to uh, heredity okay it can be uh, due to heredity also this this deformity can forward to the next generation so the next is uh, wrong posture during work yes some of the people having to work uh, during their work they having uh, the habit of wrong position which is very harmful for other uh, other level also in in other prospectus also but here if you are talking about the round shoulder in for this deformity this is really harmful okay what mm, which is wrong posture during work so we should correct our posture during work okay very very tight clothes this is also one of the cause next is Uh, carrying heavy load on shoulders or we can say carrying heavy load on uh, shoulders for a long time okay With, because of this also this deformity can be uh, come to the any person next is precautions now what are the precautions so the first is avoid tight fitting clothes yes when you will avoid the tight fitting clothes we can uh, save anyone or ourselves from this deformity the next is do not carry heavy load on the shoulders okay whatever the cause okay uh, i already told you here carrying heavy load is a cause if you will do not carry uh, the load on our shoulders for long time so definitely it will help next is do not sit stand or walk in bent position yes many of the people having the habit uh, they used to bend their neck like this while walking okay while standing or uh, while running whatever so this uh, habit is also wrong because of this habit uh, round shoulder deformity can be come to these people so these are the causes and precautions now let's know what are the corrective measures for round corrective measures of round shoulder what are the corrective measures if someone is having this problem how he or she can be correct okay there are some methods like first is stand in correct posture or we can say improve the our habit of standing walking running uh, sitting doing work so first we have to improve our habits second is hold the horizontal bar for some time yes if someone is having the problem of round shoulder he or she can be hold the horizontal bar for some time okay this will definitely helps in it the next exercise is keep your finger tips on your shoulder and rotate your elbows in clockwise and anti clockwise direction yes this exercise uh, is very helpful in this deformity okay the next is yoga 
स्पेशली चक्रासना एंड धनुरासना देर आर मेनी योगा पोस्टर बट चक्रासना एंड धनुरासना स्पेशली हेल्प इन दिस डिफॉर्मिटी सो दीज आर दी करेक्टिव मेजोर्स सो टूडे वी टॉक अबाउट दी फोर डिफरेंट डिफॉर्मिटीज ऑफ ह्यूम आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड अबाउट दीज ऑल ओके सो थैंक यू दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे बी हैप्पी बी सेफ